Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Raz. Um, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to import um, SVG files at the correct scale into Fusion 360. Let's go. So what we have here is um, an empty Inkscape document. Um, first, I'd like to show you Inkscape's um, FAQ page where they have this little help blurb that tells us what to do. Um, in a few words, you go back to your document, you open uh, document properties. Inside the document, you can see that everything is in millimeters. Um, the scale is one to one. However, when you try to import uh, the, your, your drawing into Fusion 360, it's out of scale. And I'm not going to go into detail about that. I think everyone knows what's um, how that looks. Um, I'll probably put put that at the end of the video. So uh, without any other delays, um, let's go into it. So um, in at the display units, change this to pixels. You see that the scale changes now, and we're going to change this back to one, and then change this back to millimeters. You can see that the scale has changed now. We're going to accept that and let's have a, li a little uh, experiment here. I'm going to make a little square here. Let's make it 100 by 100. Let's place it bang in the corner of the document just to make sure that's accurate. Okay, um, let's see if this little square has any uh, borders. Usually, um, you can define a stroke of various sizes. For example, I can make this um, three mils and you can see how it changes. We don't need that, that that's gonna um, create a lot of problems in, in Fusion 360 if we leave it like that. So uh, no border whatsoever, zero. The size is 100 by 100. Let's add a line of text here. Um, let's make the text 100 by 100 as well. Whoops, that was the location. That's the size. Let's keep the aspect ratio locked. Right. Now let's um, align this text in the middle of the square. We're going to choose last selected here and we're going to select the text first, the square second. And I put it in the middle of the square. Right now we have um, 100 mil square, 100 mil text. Let's save this. Let's call it uh, square. Square one. That's good. Okay, and let's import this in Fusion 360. Fusion 360. Let's create quickly our uh, environment here going to draw on this we're going to make a square which will also be 100 by 100 okay into which we will be importing an SVG from my computer and we're going to call we're going to import square one right as you can see there's a slight issue here I forgot to um, convert the text the text into path now that's converted I'm gonna save it again go back to fusion 360 escape this insert again set SVG square one and there you have it your text is now imported to the correct scale um, just for the sake of this exercise we'll finish this and let's extrude this minus three and there it is your text is, or your, your file has been imported correctly into Inkscape. The same works for um, inches. Let's make this, let's change this document into document properties. Let's change everything here to inch. Let's change this first. Inch, inch, um, right. Now from inch to pixels, this changes again. We change it to one and then from pixels back to inch done our little square again 
let's make it four inch by four inch let's place it in the corner zero and zero let's add our text onto it let's make this um, locked in four inch by whatever the height is all right align to the square quickly middle in the middle and let's not forget to convert this to a path let's save this um, drawing let's call it square two boom back to fusion 360 uh, this document here I've already uh, set the measurement the units in inch I'm gonna create my little four inch by four inch square I'm going to import my SVG set from computer square two here you have it all um, to scale everything it, everything lines up um, correctly in the file uh, for the sake of this exercise let's extrude this as we did with the previous one 0 0.15 and done that's it if you guys um, have found this to be helpful in any way um, please give us a thumbs up um, give us a like on uh, on YouTube and thank you very much for watching see you next time